Hey everyone, this is Maiden, and I'm about to show you how to do makeup for Jim Kirk, Chris Pine Edition. Be right back. So I'm going to start by just getting my hair out of the way and also already into the basic style for Kirk. I'm using a holding gel for men to basically sculpt it and start getting it out of the way. We want a basic side part on the right side of the head and it pretty much goes straight across the head and back. Now if you're like me and your hair is starting to grow out a little and there are some longish ends on the side that are falling in your face, I'm going to use hairspray as well to really tack it down and keep it out of the way. Now once the products are in my hair and it's already molded, it does look a little too uptight. So I actually do run my hand through it to loosen it up, but still let it stick back to itself so it looks a little more natural. So one of the things I recommend for cross-playing men is minimal makeup, because generally male characters don't look like they're wearing much makeup. But you still probably want to even out your tone a little, get rid of dark circles and red spots on your face. So I'm just gonna use a little concealer. Pat it right under my eyes, and then blend that downward so I'm not overly concealing my cheeks. Now I'm just going to do one more drop for my entire face to cover any uneven areas. And that is all I'm adding to my face. The goal of this is to look fairly even but still a little tired. Now this is kind of the linchpin of the entire look. Jim Kirk, as played by Chris Pine, has some very distinctive looking eyebrows. I like to call them boomerang eyebrows. So I'm using the wide tip of my dual-ended eyebrow pencil and I'm just going to start sculpting from the outside in. I'm going to make a peak and then bring it around to the front. You may want to bring up a reference picture. It's pretty hard to go too thick with this look. Even if they look a little exaggerated, it's still going to look like the character in even a caricature sort of way. They're also pretty dark, so don't worry about putting too much on. It is very hard to go too far with these eyebrows. Now, he also has a very flat look on the bottom, so I'm going to turn this curve into a straighter line. And they do go pretty far past his eyes. So I think that does it for this one eyebrow. Obviously there's a very stark difference, and now I have to try to replicate it on this side. And you don't have to worry about getting them too even. As long as you have the same general shape on both sides and dimensions, it's going to look pretty good. So the beginning line is a little bit past where my eye begins. There is a slight bump on the inside taper and then it goes down, and then it goes back up for this peak. And now I'm just going to fill in the middle. So I'm pretty happy with how these look. Now, for the finishing touches, I'm going to be using eyeshadow, but not on my eyes. I'm using this for a bit of contouring on each side of the nose to make it look wider. And I'm actually taking a dark shade called Raven. I'm going to rub a bit off of my hand. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from basically my brow line, down my nose on either side. I'm going to dab a little bit of it away with a tissue. And this also helps to blend it with something that's not adding more, like the finger that you used to put it on. And you want to brush it towards your cheeks. So that extends the shadow. So with a tissue, it's very easy to blend it, lighten it a bit, and smooth it out so it looks even wider on each side. I'm also going to take a bit of the same color and put it on the underside of my jawline to make that look more defined. So basically I find where my jaw starts and I'm going to draw a line under it. So you fading out as I get towards my chin. And now we blend again. So you want to blend and brush downwards onto your neck so it enhances that shadow. I'm not using it for this character, but if you have a character that has a slight 5 o'clock shadow, eyeshadow actually works pretty well for that too. So that's all for the contouring bit. 
Now, when cosplaying mint, I always put a little bit of concealer over my lips because they're generally very pinkish and look plump and shiny. And if you're cosplaying this version of Jim Kirk, you really want to look like you don't take care of your lips. So with a closed mouth, I'm just going to tamp a bit on my lower and upper lips and then blend it sideways. So I know what you're probably thinking. Now my lips look like a corpse, and his were actually pretty pink. Yes, they were. So I'm using pink eyeshadow to brush on but look very dry, as opposed to using you know, a lipstick which is going to make them look very plump and shiny. This one is called Hot Hot Pink, and it's a very flat looking color, so I'm just going to pat it on my lips very faintly. And it doesn't even have to be even. And there you have it! Now there are also ways when taking photos to kind of accentuate the look. I like to kind of smirk with my mouth kind of fairly open and squint my eyes a little. These methods can also be applied to other characters. I actually have never watched a character makeup tutorial before doing this, I pretty much just looked at a picture of Kirk and went with it. So if you look at a character and they have distinctive eyebrows or a nose bridge, and it doesn't even have to be crossplay, you can use these methods to change your features and make them more closely resemble your characters. So uh, thanks for watching. If you like this video, there are other videos over here. You can also subscribe and click the notification bell to get notified when we make new videos. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching and uh, follow your fandom. <laughs>